Let's learn about respiratory system anatomy. The respiratory system takes in oxygen for our cells and releases carbon dioxide. It is divided into two large sections. The upper respiratory tract consists of the nasal cavity, pharynx, and larynx. The lower respiratory tract includes the trachea, bronchi, and lungs. The nasal cavity contains bony processes called conchae or turbinates. There are superior, middle, and inferior conchae. The superior and middle conchae are processes on the ethmoid bone. The inferior conchae extend from the maxillary bone. The nasal conchae create turbulent airflow for heating, cleaning, and humidifying the air. Air passes from the nasal cavity to the pharynx. There are three parts of the pharynx. The nasal pharynx extends to the end of the soft palate. The oropharynx extends from the soft palate to the epiglottis, and the laryngopharynx from the epiglottis to the glottis. The larynx extends below the hyoid bone and contains the large thyroid cartilage, or Adam's apple. Just below the thyroid cartilage is the cricoid cartilage. Here is a posterior view of the larynx. We can see a cartilage flap called the epiglottis. The epiglottis closes when swallowing to protect the airway. We can also see the vocal cords. The true vocal cords produce sounds. The false vocal cords or vestibular folds are membranes extending from the arytenoid cartilages. Here is a close-up of the vocal cords. We can see the true and false vocal cords along with a triangular space called the glottis, which forms when the vocal cords are relaxed. Air moves from the larynx to the trachea. The trachea splits at an area called the carina into two primary bronchi. The trachea contains rings of hyaline cartilage. The rings are open in the back to allow for some flexibility. The primary bronchi split into secondary bronchi, which divide into tertiary bronchi, which again divide into smaller passages called bronchioles and terminal bronchioles. The trachea is lined with ciliated pseudostratified columnar epithelium and mucus secreting goblet cells. The cilia work to clean the respiratory tract by moving debris toward the pharynx. Air from the tiny respiratory bronchioles reaches the alveolar ducts and flows into the alveolus, the functional unit of the lung where gas exchange occurs. The alveolus contains type 1 pneumocytes, where gas exchange occurs. It also contains type 2 pneumocytes that secrete surfactant. Surfactant is a substance that reduces surface tension to keep the lungs from collapsing. The right lung has three lobes. There are superior, middle, and inferior lobes. The left lung only has two lobes, which include a superior and inferior lobe. The right lung also has horizontal and oblique fissures. The left lung only has an oblique fissure. Some other structures include the cardiac impression or notch and the hilum or root of the lung where the vessels enter. There are two pleural membranes. The visceral pleura is a thin membrane on the surface of the lung. The parietal pleura is a membrane lining the inside of the thoracic cavity. Between the membranes is a space called the pleural cavity. This space contains fluid that helps reduce friction and sticks to the lungs to help to keep them inflated. We hope you have learned something about respiratory system anatomy and 
See you next time.